Hello students, welcome to Vision Institute. These are short video series which we call Quick Bite series. In this short video series, we shall be dealing with the most important topics related to your NEET, JEE and board examinations in a quick but comprehensive way. To begin with today's topic, we shall have a short but complete discussion on hybridization. Hybridization is a very important topic from every exam's point of view. Every year at least two questions, either directly or indirectly asked, asked from this topic. And if we know the hybridization of a molecule, then we can easily predict its shape and geometry. So let us start. First of all, let us know what is hybridization. So to begin with, let us just basically know what is hybridization. Hybridization, hybridization means mixing of atomic orbitals hybridization just means mixing of atomic orbitals we just need to know this much from entrance point of view this much information is enough one more important thing is that only only the central atom only the central atom undergoes undergoes hybridization only the central atom undergoes hybridization that is if in a molecule there are more than obviously in a molecule there will be more than one atoms but only the central atom will go on hybridization and the other atoms will just take part in bonding and they will not undergo hybridization now to find the hybridization of a molecule you just need to remember one very simple formula that formula is z equals to half into m plus v plus n minus p this is a simple formula from which you can find the hybridization of any molecule in this world now you must be wondering what is z z is nothing but the total number of sigma pairs and lone pairs sigma pairs and lone pairs so we don't need to know what is sigma pair what is lone pair we just need to know the probable values of z now what can be the probable values of z so z can be z can be either 2 either 3 either 4 5 6 or basically we take up to 7 most of the time we take up to 7 now if z if z is 2 the hybridization is sp if z is 3 the hybridization is sp2 if z is 4 it is sp3 it is sp3 d2 is sorry sp3 d if it is 6 then it is sp3 d2 and if it is 7 obviously it is sp3 d3 just remember this if z is 2 hybridization is sp if z is 3 hybridization is sp2 4 sp3 5 you just need to know this now in this formula there are certain parameters m v n and p how do we know what is m what is v n and p so first of all let us see how to keep in mind this formula there is a short trick just remember z equals to m plus v plus n minus p so there is a quick mnemonic to remember this formula just remember this line my vehicle needs petrol you can just remember this the first three signs the first two signs are plus and the last one is minus so in this formula what is m m stands for m stands for number of monovalent number of monovalent atoms now what are monovalent atoms whose valency is one so there are only a few atoms which fall under this criteria those are hydrogen and the halogens fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine these are the just the monovalent atoms you just remember this next v v is number of valence electrons number of valence electrons in central atom ca means central atom now i'll always tell you i'll also tell you how to find the central atom next n n is negative charge total negative charge negative charge on the molecule how much negative charge are there in the molecule and similarly p is positive charge positive charge on the molecule now we know what the formula is now what are the different parameters of the formula so z ka value yeh ho sakta hai and these are the these are the different parameters m means number of monovalent atom v is number of valence electron in central atom n means negative charge on the molecule p is positive charge on the molecule you can please note this you can pause the video and note this
Now let us see how to predict the central atom in a molecule. So see let us take the example of just take a, let us take a common example suppose the molecule is NH3. In this molecule which one is the central atom how do you predict this? The first criteria is the first criteria is the central atom should be least in number means the atom which is least in number is the central atom. So for example here nitrogen nitrogen is least in number so nitrogen is the central atom. Now another thing is that if suppose in a molecule there are two atoms such that they are in equal numbers. So what will you do? So just, just go for the least electronegative one. The least electronegative one is the central atom. And one more thing hydrogen can never be the central atom. Hydrogen can never be the central atom in any molecule. Next, next let us move on to how to find the number of valence electron in the central atom. So know this we need to know the group to which the metal atom metal atom or just atom belongs. So if if the atom belongs to group 13 group 13 suppose the at atom elements can be group 13 boron aluminium gallium and thallium these are the elements in group 13. So their valence electron their number of valence electron are always 3 if the group group is 13 the number of valence electron are 13. Similarly, if they belong to group 14, group 14, the elements are, sorry, carbon, silicon, germanium and tin. So, the valence electrons are 4. Similarly, if the element belongs to group 15, suppose, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and phosphorus, arsenic and antimony, the number of valence electrons are 5. Group 16, it is 6. The elements of group 16 are oxygen, sulfur, selenium and tellurium. Similarly, group 17, they are halogens, chlorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. The number of valence electron are, are 7 and group 18, they are all noble gases. They are helium, neon, argon, krypton and xenon. The valence electrons are so, if group is 13, valence electron are 3, if group is 14, valence electron are 4, if group is 15, 5, 16, 6, 17, 7, 18, 8. So, these are the things you need to remember. Now, let us do some questions and try finding the hybridization in those molecules. So, students, these are some of the most important questions we have collected that has been asked several times in different examinations. And so, if we could if we could do these questions using this formula we will be able to do any questions and find their hybridization so let us start with a simple molecule ch4 ch4 means methane okay so see let us just call use and use our formula we will find the value of z and we'll, then we will find the hybridization z means half half into half into number of monovalent atoms now what are monovalent atoms i already told you monovalent atoms are hydrogen or halogens so how many monovalent atoms are there there are four monovalent atoms so four plus valence electron of the central metal atom so what is the central metal atom here there is carbon carbon is least in number so carbon is the central metal atom and what is the valence number of valence electron of carbon see carbon belongs to group 14 so number of valence electron is four so four plus four plus n if there is any negative charge we need to add so is there any negative charge no there is no negative charge so we don't need to add anything we need to subtract the positive charge is there any positive charge on the molecule no there is no positive charge on the molecule so we don't need to add or subtract anything so this will come out to be half into 4 plus 4 is 8 half of 8 is how much it is 4 so if z equals to 4 what is the hybridization the hybridization is sp Three. This is as simple as that. Similarly, let us move on to this molecule. See here also Z equals to half into number of monovalent atoms. Well, how many monovalent atoms are there? Three. So, three plus what is the central atom? Central atom is nitrogen. So, what is the number of valence electron nitrogen? It is five because it group belongs to group 15. So, it is three plus five. No charge is there. So, this is up to this much only we don't need to do anything further so 3 plus 5 is 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 same 4 so hybridization will be sp3 same here also if you find z it will be same only half into half into number of monovalent atoms 2 plus valence electron oxygen is the central atom so valence electron is 6 again the total is coming out to be 8 2 plus 6 is 8 divided by 2 is 4 hybridization is sp3 now see let us move on to this this in this question see 
both of them are halogens so which one is the central atom the least number chlorine is the central atom okay so half into number of monovalent atoms is 3 plus valence electron is again 7 so 3 plus 7 is 10 so 10 divided by 2 it is 5 so if the value of z is 5 then the hybridization is sp3 d sp3 d see saying let us move on this xf4 xenon tetrafluoride half into how many monovalent atoms 4 plus it is it belongs to group 18 so valence electron is 8 the so 4 plus 8 is how much 12 12 2 is 6 if the value of z is 6 the hybridization is sp3 d2 same with this half into number of monovalent atoms 2 plus plus valence electron is 8 see we don't need to do anything with this oxygen this does not relate anything to hybridization okay so directly 2 plus 8 is 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 if z is 5 the hybridization is the hybridization is sp3 d now see these are two molecules we have taken just to show if there is charge present in any molecule how to find hybridization so same just go with the formula this one formula will solve all the questions for you so half into what is the central atom sulfur is least in number so sulfur is the central atom and no monovalent atoms are there so directly number of valence electron in the central atom so sulfur belongs to group 16 valence electron is 6 plus 6 plus is there any monovalent atoms no there are no monovalent atoms just there is negative charge how many negative charge two negative charge are there so we need to add the negative charge here also you can see we need to add the negative charge so 6 plus 2 no positive charge so just this much is done 6 plus 2 is 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 4 again s4 so again hydrogen is sp3 let us move on to this question z equals to half into How many monovalent atoms are there? Four. Plus, what is the valence electron of central atom? Nitrogen is a central atom, so valence electron is five. Is there any positive charge? Yes, there is one positive charge. We need to subtract that. So the total is coming out to be four plus five is nine, minus one is eight. Eight divided by two is eight divided by two is four. So hybridization is again sp three. So this is just a simple method of finding hybridization is in any molecule. Okay. So this was all about hybridization. and in the next video we'll discuss about how to find geometry and shape from hybridization and what is the difference between shape and geometry so please let us know in the comment section if you want more such videos we'll obviously very happy to help you thank you vision institute